Hey, Larry, come on in. Hi, Bruce. Hi. Hey, Larry. Hi, Russ. It's good to see you. You too. Hi, Bruce. I'm Russ. And we watch a lot of HGTV. So much so that we bought this house while we were living in Virginia, found it online, came halfway across the country to look at it, decided we liked it, and we bought it. This is our living room. Um, there's a lot of plaster on here. When we came in here, we found that there was a lot of cosmetic work to do. The house was built in 1873, and there's a lot of stuff that dates back to Johnson, S.C. Johnson Company time, and we'll show you that. One of the things that we did, we replaced the carpet, we replaced the, well, we had the floor redone. This is our family room. You can see we have, we like art. We have art all over. We need a place with big walls, big ceilings. We have more of the same plaster crown molding in here that needed to be repaired when we bought the house. If you take a look over there, you'll see one of Russ's collections. Um, we call Russ Martha, and we'll show you the Martha room in a little while. But this is one of the collections that Russ started because of Martha Stewart. This is his collection of McCoy pottery. This is our music room because there's a piano over here. We bought the piano on eBay. Believe it or not, we paid a we saw it for $100, ran over to New Jersey. By the time we got finished having it fixed, and carted down to our house cost us a thousand dollars. But it looks good and we like it. The house used to belong to a judge, belonged to a doctor, and this was the reception room for both the judge and the doctor at different times. This is my office, my home office. Um, it, it was the original doctor's quarters um, for, for examining room. One of the things that we had to fix when we came here was this bathroom, this half bathroom. Everything was pink. Pink formica, white house, sparkly wallpaper. It was really ugly, tacky, very 50s, very 60s, but not in a good way. So this is what we've done to it. This is our dining room. Um, we did a lot of work in here. When we got here, it was black and white vinyl tile on the floor. It was stained. Uh, there were black speckled paint on the ceiling and on the walls. We put in Brazilian cherry. Brazilian cherry. And uh, this stuff all was carted up with from, from Virginia with us. There's this Chinese wallpaper after uh, the, the black and, and pink speckled wallpaper that was here was taken down. And, and you could see outlines from old windows and doors that used to be on this wall. One of the things that we liked most about this house was this indoor, or well, outdoor, but indoor screened porch. We're about a block and a half from Lake Michigan, and I neglected to mention that we live in Racine, Wisconsin, which is midpoint almost, sort of kind of between Chicago and Milwaukee. It's a lively neighborhood. Feisty. Yeah, it's feisty. <laughs> we call it the hood. Don't even. Well, in, in, in a good way, sort of. It's a changing neighborhood. A neighborhood in transition. Listen, we've got to be honest. It's, that's what it is. It is what it is. This is our kitchen. It's small but, and compact, but it, it works for us. I kind of like the fact that in most houses where we've been, people gather in the kitchen, and it's really not big enough for people to do that. So they kind of leave me alone in here. The people we bought the house from did a lot of the remodeling here, but we came in and we replaced all the appliances. Where you see the ceramic tile on the wall, that used to be yellow subway tile, but it wasn't in good shape. When we moved in there, this is ugly old 70s can track lighting, and I replaced it with something that was a little more modern. This is one of the upstairs rooms. It was a bedroom. Um, depending on who's over on and how um, silly we want to sound, we either say that this is the book room or this is the library. It's not the conservatory, but it might be the library. When I first moved up here, I lived in this room, just in this room, while we were doing all the work in the house. So now it's our guest bedroom, and um, Russell likes to change the coverlet on the bed twice a year. Uh, we have an antique, what's this called, Russ? Crocheted. Crocheted, and we also put in, we have a double peacock chenille that comes in in season. This is my bathroom. 
literally everything was redone in here. We had pink plastic tile on the wall. When you see the wallpaper now, there was green paint that was all cracking. There was green linoleum on the floor, and everything was just really tacky. So all of this has been replaced. The floor, we put in the wood uh, to replace the pink, and actually it was pink plastic, and then the wallpaper to cover the green. All right, this is my bathroom. It's a very, it was very similar to Bruce's, and the, um, there was green tile on the floor. I'm sorry, there's a mess on the floor. <laughs> there was green tile on the floor in here, and the, the tile that was the same as Bruce's bathroom, but this was painted white. The tile was actually painted white. Um, I don't recall what was any higher. It was very pink and, and teal still, just very similar to his bathroom. Like a lot of old houses, uh, we needed closet space. And so fortunately the house had five bedrooms and we took one bedroom, this one, bought units from, dare I say, Sam's Club and put it together, and this is our dressing room right now. Um, clothing room, whatever you want to call it. This is my office, which is upstairs, and this is one of our pieces of art. Russ's folks said, just what you folks need, another conversation piece. But this is my office. This is where I work when I work from home. This is the master bedroom, um, and one of the nice things that uh, we learned when we moved here Racine is the home of S.C. Johnson, a family company. A lot of people know Johnson for Johnson's Wax. Well, before there was Johnson's Wax, there was Johnson's Wood. And if you look at the floors in here, they are known as Johnson Wood floors. And the floors begat the wax. As a matter of fact, they created the wax to take care of these floors. In addition to the parquet floor, which is lovely, the Johnson wax floors also included oftentimes these inlaid portions like this, which is beautiful. There's a very special room in our house. I don't know how many houses have a Martha room, but we have a Martha room. Russ is known and proud of it as Martha. And this is his room. This is his Martha room. And I'll let, you, let him tell you about it. The Martha room started several years ago in a different house in Virginia, but it was just a good place to to store holiday decorations, um, sort of use it as a, a, an, an additional office. Here I've got uh, an additional iMac and, and printer and scanner for, for other projects. Down here we've got the candle department. So what we're looking for is we're looking for a little place in Spain. We're not necessarily, we're not, we've, we've eliminated the coast, property is, just like any place else in the world, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, whatever, we want typically Spanish. I got my degree, my undergraduate degree from the University of Madrid. I'm fluent in Spanish. We want a place that we can go to for the month of January each year and feel like we're in a different world away from the weather of Wisconsin's winter. And we'd like a place where Russ can pick up a little bit of Spanish, um, where, well, what else? What, what would you like? I just like to have a getaway place that's warm and comfortable where it's not 18 degrees below zero like it is here. Ready? I mentioned that we watched a lot of HGTV. I mean, we watched the design shows, we watched the building shows, we watched the apartment shows, we watched the travel shows, but we always watched House Hunters and House Hunters Inter International. And as we see people looking for places that they want to get away to or get away from, We've decided that we too would like to invite HGTV along with us as we look at places in Spain so that we can get away from Wisconsin, at least during the winter weather. So come on and join us. Have a good time.